You know, but, but the helicopter was late, and it was a slower one and a um, smaller one, and uh, it nearly didn't come off because uh, by the time she got into it and by the time they got there, you know, I'd seen about a dozen helicopters come out. And, you know, my heart was going like that and I was, sweat was pouring on me. Prison escapee John Killick faces a nervous wait to find out whether he'll be extradited from Sydney to Brisbane with a judge today reserving her decision. Killick served 15 years jail over a notorious helicopter escape from Silverwater Prison in 1999. But I knew Lucy. If Lucy said she's going to do it, Lucy was going to do it. No, I didn't have any doubt she'd do it, you know. I think it was about four minutes to go when she came. And uh, I was thinking, what am I going to do, if, you know, when they start taking us back? To put, to put it uh, in a nutshell, I, I met Lucy at a party. We met up and uh, it took a while in to uh, persuade her for a date, you know, and... Uh, we, we started meeting up and um, eventually an affair began and uh, it was pretty intense and then we had a lot of trouble from her, her husband. Um, he controlled her to a degree and uh, when she told me when she was pregnant he was having all these affairs over in Russia and um, you know, he just rubbed it in her face. So we, we had an affair, um, it got uh, quite serious. It was uh, you know, a pretty heavy uh, relationship really and uh, so uh, she moved in with me and we had a lot of trouble from him. and. Uh, there were custody battles for the, uh, the daughter. You know, it got really serious in family court, and that's when he, got, he came up with the, uh, with the uh, warrant. Well, once that warrant was activated, the, uh, they came around and said, look, uh, you've got to go back to, to jail at uh, Queensland. You report to court in the morning at 9.30. I think they knew that I wasn't going to get, turn up. And uh, so we took off. And it was just a downhill thing from there. Um, what happened, you know, we lost the bond on the house, we lost the furniture, we lost the car, you know, um, no jobs then and uh, you couldn't get unemployment, we weren't on a run and uh, so I, I turned to, uh, I robbed the bank again in uh, 19, uh, in uh, October 1998 and uh, got away with that, did another one in uh, January 99 and I was a criminal dinosaur, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't have that expertise that I had when I was younger. And uh, well, we got caught. There was an uh, off-duty cop there chased me. There's a die coming out of a bag. I mean, it's just a, something like a comedy, you know. And uh, I've described it pretty well in the book. It's it's quite um, dramatic. And well, I actually opened it up with this and uh, with this robbery. And so I finished the tour water. Lucy came out to see me. So, Got to get you out. And uh, she was getting threatening phone calls. They said, "Now your gangster's gone. We're going to get you." You know, at two o'clock in the morning. Not him, it wasn't him doing, he's too clever for that, but you know, Russian Russian guys were ringing her up. They said, with him off the scene, you're dead, you know? So we decided, okay, we'll get out. But it wasn't that easy, because I had previous escapes on me, and uh, I had heavy security. I'd go to uh, court, I had special armed escort when I went to court. And I knew that we had to, uh, first of all, use lateral thinking to get out, you know? I had to come out of the left field, and uh, so the only way was up. The only reason we went ahead was because um, there were, it's extraordinary, a helicopter pilot came into the, the jail. He'd been extradited from overseas. He had 10,000 um, hours experience. And he was a con man. So I got him put in my cell. You know, I was just fluked and managed to get him into my cell. So this guy was conning me. He could get me out, he knew who I was. And he said, I can get you out uh, when I get out. Uh, $10,000, because I told him I still had the money from the bank robbery, because he was, was sort of a cat and mouse. And uh, so he was going to do it for 10000 and I was picking his brain, learning all you could about the helicopter, about things like transponder, this transponder was sign alarm through the authorities, and you know, what heights you got to be, uh, the whole heap of things that, that I learned. So uh, I was able to uh, give this information to Lucy who put it into effect because um, he did go for the transponder and it would have, would have been off and uh, she uh, managed to disable the transponder and took off his headphones and 
and we, we managed to pull it off. We got shot three times. Um, the pilot told me later, he said, no, we were lucky, miss, missed a certain part of the um, chopper to come apart, would have disabled us, would have sent us down. Y you know, I, I think, um, so I would say, when, when you look at the success of it, um, if you call it that, you know, um, there were two reasons. One was that um, having that helicopter pilot in the cell, otherwise we would have been caught. And the second one was uh, the fact that the Olympics were coming on and, you know, we were right next to the Olympic site. And that's where silver water is. And there are a lot of uh, scenic flights coming over, you know, tourists wanting to have a look at the site. So the prison office became sort of blase about, it. oh, there's another helicopter coming over, you know. So uh, they didn't take any notice until it was too late. And by the time they realised I was actually into the, virtually into the chopper, you know, there was a chance that you, you only got out to that oval uh, twice a week for an hour a day. And a lot of a lot of different wings go out there. Um, so she had to know I was on that oval at that particular time. Um, and uh, there are a lot of reasons I may not have been there. Could have been lockdowns, could have been fights uh, so that stops. Uh, you know, they just take them back inside and lock down the wing. So, you know, uh, she had to know I was there. And so I, I rang her, I had it arranged to get the telephone and uh, I rang her, she was situated near the airport, and I said, look, I'm going for a jog, and I'll call you later. Well, that was the signal, and uh, she, she went ahead with it. You know, but, but the helicopter was late, and it was a slower one, and um, smaller one, and uh, it nearly didn't come off, because uh, by the time she got into it, and by the time they got there, you know, I'd seen about a dozen helicopters come out. And, you know, my heart was going like that, and I was, sweat was pouring on me, and I took, uh, Bennett out with me, the helicopter. I had, had him as a backup, you know, in, in, in case, just in case the helicopter landed and the pilot jumped out and ran away, I had my own helicopter pilot, you know, to, to, to go in there. And, uh, but I think it was about four minutes to go when she came. And uh, I was thinking, what am I going to do, if, you know, when they start taking us back? There'll be stragglers, but we've got maybe five minutes left in the oval. I thought, well, I'll fall down and pretend I'm having a heart attack or something. Because then, you know, the protocol is that they, uh, they can't move you. They've got to get there. They might give you 10 minutes. And then uh, when the chopper comes, I'll just jump up and run away. The heart attack's, heart attack's gone and uh, away we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, but um, she came uh, and uh, just in time. But as I said, it was a mistake. You know, I do regret it. Um, I, I regret, uh, you know, there are a lot of were a lot of victims from that. Even that, just the one crime. Uh, the, the family. He he had a wife and uh, three little daughters, you know, and uh, they went went through trauma. And and you know, my family suffered. Lucy's family suffered. And uh, you know, it's um, you don't know. Uh, you don't know. You know what the actual impact on the, the real victims. But you don't know. The, you know those on the periphery. Uh, what how they're affected. You know.